Hi, this is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for Scorpio. So this is one of the really exciting times of the year when you are, um, when you are, uh, <laughs> when you are, um, you're kind of probably feeling like everything you want is manifesting right before your eyes. And if you're not there, you're really close. So this is a really big time to make like, long-range plans and uh, to set dreams in motions and to really be like I want this to happen I want that to happen I want this to happen so this is a really good time for you to find that vein of manifestation that cord of manifestation as I call it that when you find it everything kind of just like comes like in miraculous ways and the more you can stay on it the more you're in that flow and everything just comes and comes and comes um, it's really it's a small cord <laughs> It's not a big wide one, so it's kind of like a tightrope, um, and it's really easy to fall off and then fall into fear, fall into negativity. Um, so right now, you are very much in this, and this new moon is all about that. It's also, uh, you know, it's really big about, like, um, what, what can happen from this, and this can be a process thing, but is that you are... Um, there's something about you that needs to awaken to um, something about what you're doing, how you're presenting yourself um, that needs a bit of an upgrade with something within your mind. Um, there's some block you have that is only you're just you could probably see something like this in others but you're not able to see it in yourself. And it's something that's, you know, it's kind of hidden, like you're not realizing it's, I'm even feeling like the power of your words, the way you use your words, and this would make sense because it's Scorpio, but um, there's something with the intensity, there's some pattern that you've carried and carried and carried and you've been unable to see yourself in it, um, and it's, it's, um, it's going to start like having things fall away unless you do go through this process of seeing where is my higher mind not operating uh, inside as much as I believe it operates outside of me. So this can be something like um, just being like, I'm right, I'm right, and that's that, and not realizing that it's kind of taking power from others um, because there is something others with this. Um, and it's almost like this past life thing or something that's like you've always dealt with it this way, you've always dealt with it this way, and you have not been able to see that you've had any part in it whatsoever. And it's always been the other person and nothing to do with you and you're perfect because that's kind of, you know, something that Scorpios have to move through in life is feeling like they're always right and, um, and um, that's that. And that's gonna eventually just like keep taking people from you in your life because that one just we have to take all that's so not an age of Aquarius at all and maybe you think you're there that's where it's like there's some kind of chip that needs to be knocked off and you're gonna see that now whether it's other things in life uh, showing up and manifesting and really putting a spotlight on it um, and you haven't been able to see it. It's been something that you have no clue about. Like even if people came to you now, this might too make you go, I don't even know what you're talking about. But um, the energy is that you can't really see it. It is something buried. It's something that you haven't seen as important and doesn't matter. But you are going to very soon be shown that this does matter. And you're going to have something that is like a total wake up. Uh, maybe even just waking up one day and being like, oh, like seeing the error of your ways or seeing how, oh my gosh, like, you know, that happens sometimes in our life where we couldn't see it, couldn't see it, and then all of a sudden we see it and it's so emotional because it's like, I didn't see that I was doing that. I had that with this situation recently and it just tore me up. Like, I couldn't see what I was doing. I, I didn't, you know, it was years ago and I didn't have the maturity. I didn't have the emotional maturity. I didn't have the, I didn't have the, I didn't have, I just wasn't there yet. And now it's past and, you know, this person is gone, um, as in dead. And, um, and it just really tore me up how, like, different. I wish I could have treated them, you know? And, um,
because I don't treat people that way anyway, but I did with this person. And I know there's all these other learnings and lessons with it. <clears throat> So I get that. I get that this person was put on my path because of this. But still, it was like, oh my gosh, I wish I knew then what I know now. But that's how we learn. So then there's also the aspect of not beating ourselves up. You know, there's, um, there's this asking for forgiveness. You know, there's this just like, because when you make amends and when you really see what you've done that's hurting other people, it's like, you know, it just really changes your life, and um, you strive to never do that again. So there's something like this going on with you. It also can very well be coming from friends. This can be dealing with friends. It can even be like um, you've been losing friends, or you're not feeling like you have any friends that are really friends. Um, there's also something where this is tied in with happiness and creativity. So there's this thing like maybe you're saying these things, doing these things, and you don't realize that they're actually keeping you from being as happy as you could be. And you might be like, no, I'm totally fine. I'm happy. But once you do have this awakening that's going to come, you're going to see how it's tied into like you believing in yourself and you feeling joy and happiness. And, um, um, something too with like really like expressing yourself more creatively like there feels like a block around there like um, this kind of feels a little separate but there's some kind of block around there where maybe you um, um, <clears throat> um, just kind of feeling stifled in life right now or like not as sexual or not as um, feeling as safe or not as just kind of depressed so this can go two ways for people. It kind of depends on where you're at on the awakening point. And, um, but so there's something down there that can shift through. Uh, there's also this thing of being in groups or with other people or sharing your experience. This could actually be a big healing thing for you where um, something with coming together in these groups, coming together more as an individual within a group, um, setting um, and especially anything that's sharing based that really kind of because um, I do know when groups form that they kind of have the same kind of DNA structure going on with them so like it could be like other people sharing things and you're like oh my gosh I do that too so the awakening could come through that form um, so there is something it's like coming from friends or it's coming from a group um, but it's really to happen to take you to this higher place, you know, take you to this higher awareness. There's also, you know, it could even be something moving is going to do that. It could be something too, like being on a vacation shifts you, you know, like something out and about, something out of your normal environment that awakens you. You can even be seeing this happen with somebody else and being like, oh, that's what I've been doing, you know, because so often people telling us we don't, we can't hear it but yet seeing it from another sharing it or seeing it in action somewhere else out in the world, we relate to it and we go, oh my gosh, that's what I've been doing. And I've actually found that almost every vacation I take, I always have an awakening. I always have something. And I think that's why we take them, you know, because it's something about taking us out of our comfortable space and then being like, oh my gosh, you know, and, um, I never saw that before. I didn't think about that before. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to go back and live my life and do this and do that and do this. You know, they kind of do that for us. So um, let's do new moon affirmations with this. This you're going to be like, I'm coming together um, in a group that is related to healing. Um, I am open to healing my wounds. I am open to changing what I need to change so that people really see the love see the eagle in my heart and not always the scorpion um, um, I am manifesting any dream all my dreams are manifesting that's always a good one. Oh my gosh all my dreams are manifesting I always do that everything I want is always happening <laughs> you know so do that one because this one too is very much about um, it's an open it's an open it's an open canvas of what you can really manifest into your life because you're in this one space where there's no limit to what you can bring in. And if you just find this cord of manifestation, it'll all start coming together. So if anything doesn't feel good, it's just things that need to leave your life right now. And you have to understand that, whether it's people, whether it's your thought patterns, whether it's the way you use your words. You know, with Pluto there in your house of communications, 
all the Scorpios are going to go through an absolute transformation in that sting of their words. Like I've been stung by it recently too and it was the most hurtful thing I've ever had happen to me. I, it made me like I don't want any more Scorpios in my life ever. It really like turned me off and I've always been really I've always been really blessed with the loving, loving Scorpio Eagle people and I just came across some Scorpio Scorpions people and it was like, oh, I mean it just wrecked me and I was like, oh my god, you intentionally wanted to hurt me and I mean, yeah, we didn't have the awareness of this a decade or more ago but now we know, you know, and to actually want to hurt somebody and put them down and make them feel like they're nothing, I'm like, that's horrible. So, um, you're going to go through a total metamorphosis like this, and you will no longer be a slave to that lower vibration of Scorpio, which is the one that just wants to hurt. You hurt me, I'm going to get you. Like, that is so not the age of the Aquarius <laughs> at all. So that's going to transform in you. All right, so you have a beautiful new moon. I will see you in two weeks with the full moon, and um, yeah.